figured I'd get around to doing this, even though it's been here for about the last four years. And before anybody says anything, this ain't mine, this is Mother's. And I figured I'd do a startup on this because it's been sitting here for like a week, not being used. But I figured I'd give you the Cliff Notes version of this. Um, Mom decided to get a new truck, and or at least a new vehicle, and found this. Didn't tell me. I look out the window. I see this in the driveway. I'm thinking somebody abandoned it, and I'm just like... <laughs> wondering what the hell, and lo and behold, it's like, they should have told me, they didn't, I'm panicking, and now we got this. Kind of like, kind of like, either way, point is, yeah. So let's make a quick round of it, I mean, this is a 1995 Ranger. First year of the um, redesigned dashboard where they put in an airbag. Yep. Or as I say, Ranger. The inside, I'll show that off in a minute. Yeah, bed's much cleaner than mine. There's the back. The oval came undone. We gotta get that taken care of. And this was a custom truck at one time which was done by Southern Comfort of Trustville, Alabama. This was back in like 95 and sold at Capital Ford in Raleigh, North Carolina. Also sometime around 95. And I don't know the previous ownership of it, but it was bought here and all that. And right here was where some bed rails were. Same for the other side. The CB antenna was mine. I wasn't using it, so whatever. Locked. Okay. Ow! Oh, God. And yes, my mom is short, so I'm gonna end up killing myself. Oh, ow, my nads! A oh, little better. And that odometer is not correct because for some awkward reason, while the speedometer works, the odometer does not. <laughs> and that cruise control lever, also not original. Because it's completely aftermarket. Because, as you know, cruise control on Ford vehicles were in the steering wheel. So, yeah. Airbag. Airbag. The later models had the airbag switch off at like where the ashtray used to be. Crank windows, crank window. But not, but since it's not mine, I'm not going to divulge too much on the show and tell. We are going to start it. Ah. You press clutch. And yes, I, there's a major fashion faux pas here, so burn me. Okay. <sighs> Let's see what we can do. Let's see what I can do. So yeah, wish I could have done better, but it didn't. So I guess the start of that 95 Ranger ain't gonna happen because the battery's dead or it's dying. Now why, I don't know. Maybe there's a short somewhere and we gotta fix that. Otherwise there'd be something else to go with it. So yeah, you saw another fail live on camera. And I'm heading to happy hour, so I guess for till next time, Eski, thanks for watching, and the comic box is open.